As we noted earlier, the issue of Russian meddling figured into the Senate confirmation hearing today for Christopher Wray, the nominee to be the next FBI director. But it was not the only topic of note. Senators were also trying to get a sense for whether Wray was the right person to lead the bureau through the political crosswinds of the day. Lisa Desjardins takes it from there. He worked 25 years as both a top federal prosecutor and as defense attorney. Do you affirm that the testimony you're about to give before the committee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. But Christopher Ray faced few questions about I his experience, that, uh, and instead a long list of them about his independence as a potential fire. FBI chief. If the president asks you to do something unlawful or unethical, what do you say? First, I would try to talk him out of it, and if that failed, I would resign. It was one of many references to the last FBI director, James Comey, fired by President Trump. Comey claimed the president asked him to let go of investigating former aide Michael Flynn and demanded a loyalty oath. The White House disputes all of that, but Ray, as the FBI nominee, was asked about his allegiance. My loyalty is to the Constitution, to the rule of law, and to the mission of the FBI. And no one asked me for any kind of loyalty oath at any point during this process, and I sure as heck didn't offer one. And about his conviction. I believe to my core that there's only one right way to do this job, and that is with strict independence, by the book, playing it straight, faithful to the Constitution. Ray spoke about his 2004 pledge to leave the Justice Department over the Bush administration's use of warrantless wiretaps, which he believed were illegal. He was following the lead of Comey, then the Deputy Attorney General, and Robert Mueller, then the FBI Director, and now the man in charge of the Special Russia investigation. I view him as the consummate straight shooter and somebody I have enormous respect for, and I would be pleased to do what I can to support him uh, in his mission. Ray also worked on counterterrorism at the Justice Department and was asked today about torture. My view is that torture is wrong, it's unacceptable, it's illegal, and I think it's ineffective. And about protecting Muslim Americans from backlash. I think the FBI director and the FBI needs to be the FBI and the FBI director for all Americans, including Muslim Americans. And the, my experience in terrorism investigations has been that some of the best leads we ever got uh, were from members of that community. From Muslim he stressed Americans. the need to fight terrorism, including cyber terrorism, and protect classified information. In the end, senators of both parties seemed assured. Looking around, I'm feeling that uh, you've had a good hearing today, and um, best of luck to you, sir. Thank you, Senator. That means a lot. If approved, Ray would be the eighth FBI director confirmed by the U.S. Senate. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Lisa Desjardins.